All right, good morning, friends. I am out here in Ellington right now. I am going to start right here at 309 Ollivander Lane. Um, this one is a Telfair floor plan. This is 2771 square feet. It is on 0.14 acres. It is on the bottom of our sheet, and I notice that this one actually has a fenced in backyard. So I walked back here to check it out and it is a little bit mushy through here. We haven't really gotten a lot of rain, but it could be the sprinkler system. Definitely mushy. Um, this yard is very sloped. I don't know if you can see that well. But this is what the 0.414 acres looks like on this Telfair. And it's unusual to get a fenced backyard. So that is kind of a perk. Um, it goes downhill. It's got a pretty good slope to it, though. So... Um, I'm going to walk across the street. We've got quite a few other floor plans and lots to look at. But just because this has the fence, I want to make sure you get a good... There you go. I think that might be able to show you better. It is not mushy down here just on that side of the house. Um, so, Telfair, this one's 309. As I'm walking out, you'll see where we're going across the street. Okay, right across the street from where I came out is 310. Ollivander Lane and this one is a Russell floor plan. It is also on 1.4 acres. We will go look at the back of these yards here in just a minute. This one is the 308. It is a Pickens floor plan. Also 1.4 acres. And then this one is 306. This is going to be the Telfair. So, um, some of these back here have houses that are already occupied, so you can add on to the fence. Oops, sorry, just stepped into a hole. I am feeling wet along this line as well. And it looks like wheels of some sort have been rolled back here. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just the water flow pattern. Again, we are at the backyard of the Telfair. This one is not nearly as sloped, but it does have little incline coming off of the patio. You can see a pretty good definition of lot lines with these pins and also the grass. This one next to it, I don't believe you are interested in this floor plan of the Pickens. That's the exterior from behind. Also 1.4. That seems a little bit small to me just because I see a lot of pins. Maybe not. I think it goes from this pin to here. Uh, 
of all of these backyards, um, 310, the Russell floor plan, seems to have the flattest backyard. It's, and it seems to be probably the largest. So it's going to go from this pin. I think you could build on to that fence line. Um, not really sure what's going to happen back here. But for now, it's vegetation. The only other pink marker I see is over here. So the property may run up to this fence line and back. Um, or it could cut. It may end at this fence line and go up. I'm not really sure. We could check that out. It'd be important if you wanted to build a fence, but. All right, I am going to see if there are any more on this list we need to look at the backyards. I hope this gives you good representation of that. All of these homes are move-in ready. So if you want to explore any of the finished products or floor plans here, even though they're not your top three, let me know and I will come get a tour of any of these houses that you want to see.